Hello everyone, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, and we are back with another episode of Greedfall, so let us continue. Alright, we'll continue with the side quests from, uh, kind of started a bit from the last episode, so the spy from Teleme. I think I'll keep my uh, group the same. So let us travel. Ah. Come on, globe. Okay. There we go. Jeez, finally. Find Fernando. Do you remember him? He should be able to inform us. Yes, I remember Fernando. Let's go and see him. Yes, let's go see Fernando. Nope, dead end. Except for this. Don't hesitate. Okay, I'm gonna sell this. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in his. More glowing boxes. Excellent. Good day, Desade. How can I help you? Uh, you can turn on the light for once. We're looking for a young nought named Alba on behalf of the Admiral. I've heard about her. Several crew members told me that one of our own was looking to leave the island. You should ask them if you want to learn more. They should be near the boarding area. But me? I've not seen her. More questions? Nope, we're good. Thanks. I've got everything I need. Oh, is this her? Your Excellency, Captain Vasco, what fair wind brings you here? I guess not. We're looking for a young nought who arrived from New Serene a short time ago. Her name is Alba. Yes, I remember her well. The poor child wanted to flee her father. He wanted to take her back to the convent. She asked me when our ship was leaving, and if I thought we could take her on board. I told her she better talk to the captain, but we weren't leaving right away in any case. So she left. Okay. Ask about father. You say she was fleeing her father. Yes, that's what she said. He followed her here to take her back to Teleme. Poor child. Did she tell you what his name was? Yes. She told me that if a certain gentleman, Lorenz, that's it, Lorenz, if he was asking after her, I should send him packing. Surely it was a fake excuse. We're looking for her for espionage and treason. Really? Yet she seems sincere. Treason? I can't believe it. Okay, where is her father? If her father is actually here, do you have any idea where we might find him? Well, at one point I asked her why she was not waiting at the tavern for a ship to leave. She told me she could not go to the tavern. So maybe that's where you'll find him. All right, sounds good. I must leave you. Find Alba's father at the tavern. 
tavern is all the way back there. Assuming that's him. Hello. Are you Master Lorenz? Indeed, sir. What do you want from me? My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation, and I have a few questions for you. Okay, his daughter. We're looking for a young nought called Alba. We were told that you're her father. Alba, what a stupid name. Her real name is Clara, and yes, she is my daughter, although she chose to deny me. Have you seen her recently? Alas, no. Otherwise, I would have brought that little idiot back to Teleme. Why did she have to leave? What madness could make her leave the convent to go to sea? Okay. Think she's Your guilty? Your daughter is accused of espionage and treason by the Norts. Do you think she could be guilty? Espionage? I can't believe it. But treason? How can it be denied? She rejected her country, her faith, and her family by getting on that ship. But I will soon bring her back on the right path. I hired a sleuth from the Ordo Luminous. Okay. Tell me more about this sleuth. Some Inquisitors are specialists in hunting criminals, or heretics, or young scatterbrains. That's certainly the case with this Johannes. He will bring her back to me, and she will return to the convent in Teleme. Do you know where we could find him? Maybe he could help us. His last message was about a missionary camp where he had followed her near Wench... something or other. I'm sorry, I can't remember those island names. Thank you, sir. If you find her, bring her back to me. She will no longer have the chance to betray anyone at the convent. I hope we're done. Yep, we're done. I'll leave you, sir. Okay, now we gotta find this sleuth. A missionary camp near a village whose name begins with Wench. Could it be when Xavier, the village of Catasac? We know there were missionaries in the area. That's it. Let's go. Okay. Might as well just take the globe for my residence. Oh, something outside my door. Gold coins. This is what caused it. So we have to go different way down. Something on the board here? Nope.
Get down and listen. It seems to me that it's our sleuth. Ah, oh, eavesdrop. Who are you? I slid what down by accident. Here? Are you spying on me? My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation, and I was sent to find a young nort, Alba. That dirty little eel slipped through my fingers. But this savage will soon tell me where to find her. Listen, we're not here for a simple family issue. The stakes are much higher. So I must ask you to stop this hunt so we can find Alba. I made a commitment to find this young woman and bring her back to her father. I will not give up so easily. I have been promised a substantial amount of money. And I care about my reputation. Uh, charisma. I understand. But you are aware of the fact that your order has suffered a major setback lately. And I'm afraid your involvement in this case will only make things worse. You could be right. I may be in over my head. Yep. Well, I'm going back to San Mateus. I leave you this savage. Have fun and happy hunting. Okay. Let's. May the grass be forever soft under your feet, Renaixe. I thought I was dead. He would have killed me, even if I had spoken. You're probably right. Do you think you can answer us? We also have questions to ask you. You saved me. I owe you answers. But first, I have to go back to my village. I need to heal. Meet me in Wen Chavaye later on. Okay. So the spy from Teleme is finished. Sub Rosa, I guess, has started. Alright, we'll just head for this globe so I can travel. There you are. You are the ones who saved me from Saul Lasser. Oh, I am so grateful to you. Oh, I owe you so much. But you wanted to ask me questions? We're looking for a naught girl. The same one that the Inquisitor is looking for. But I promised Alba to say nothing. I would really like to help you, but... And you risked your own life keeping your promise. But Alba is in a very delicate situation. If we do not find her first, others will track her down, and they will kill her without letting her defend herself. So she was right to be afraid, that poor girl. She came here saying she was being chased. I led her into the forest nearby to a cave where she could hide. If you have one of your notes, I'll show you where she is. Thank you. Did you want anything else? Nope. I must go. Goodbye. Okay, so let's find this cave. Uh, should be... Oh, there it is. Okay, it was covered up by that door. Okay, where is it? Yep, I'm going to take one quick picture here. OK, 
Okay. There is the cave. There is the cave that our protege told us about. I can't say that I have a good memory of this place. Look, a camp. Maybe these are Alvar's things. No, you will not get me. I will not go back to the convent. I don't think you'll have much of a choice. Finish me. I still prefer to die than to return to my father. Wait, something's wrong. She sincerely believes that we're chasing her on behalf of her father. Uh, spare her. We do not intend to kill you, let alone take you back to your father. So then, why are you here? We know you betrayed the Noughts who took you in. You stole documents from your captain to sell them to the highest bidder, and we're here to pick them up. What? I never did such a thing. The Nords are the family I chose. I would never betray them. There's no point in denying it. We found the dead drop that you used. We confirmed that you were negotiating to sell secrets. And Captain Reuben, who already suspected you, reported the theft of his book just as you were leaving town. If you were innocent, you wouldn't have fled your crew. But all of this is false. I don't even know what a dead drop is. And if I fled, it was to escape you. Escape us? If you were not the spy, that makes no sense. You better tell us what happened. Some time ago, Captain Reuben told me that he had been informed that my father had gone to Tierfredi. It worried me. I knew my father would do anything to bring me back. Then, in New Serene, my colleagues told me that the Legate was looking for me. I was scared. I told the captain, who told me that I would find a ship in San Mateus to leave the island. But there were none. I saw my father at the tavern with one of his inquisitors. And I realized that my only chance was to flee deeper inland. A native helped me find this cave, and there you have it. I can't believe it. Reuben used the mistrust of the volunteers to accuse her, and he used us to make her run away. Probably to hide the fact that he himself is the spy. <sighs> We've been duped. We must return to New Serene as soon as possible and warn the Admiral before it's too late. And what will become of me? You will come with us. We will protect you. We'll need your testimony. Okay. So Sub Rosa has been finished. Alright, so in that case I am going to just... Yep. The enemy within. Yes, that way. OK. 
Okay, where is the nearest... Well, I guess camp is the nearest place I can travel. So, it was the captain who was setting us all up. We'll make him pay. Excuse me, Admiral. Desarde, what can I do for you? Our investigation is well underway, but the culprit is not who we thought. What do you mean? We found Alba, but she was innocent. In fact, her captain used us and her father to scare her. It's because of us that she fled. She never stole documents or tried to sell your secrets. So, are you saying that the culprit is Reuben? If this were not the case, why make up this story against Alma, and use us like that? I can't believe it. And to think that I believed his lies. However, he is a captain. I cannot condemn him without solid proof. And we have to find out who he was selling his journal to. Ask his crew, but stay discreet. It should not arouse suspicions. Anything else? Nope. I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. All right, time to question the crew again. Guess question these three. Hello, you need something? What do you think about Captain Reuben? I know what it's going to sound like, but I liked it better when you were captain. Thank you, heartfelt. But tell me why. He's a good captain. But he lacks team spirit, if you know what I mean. He's aloof, doesn't get along with his crew. You're still far from the mark. To him, we're nothing more than lackeys. The only one who gets a smile from time to time is the pretty Gretchen. One of the girls from the tavern. She scratches his itch. As soon as he can, he's off to the brothel. Must cost him a right fortune. <laughs> he should be careful. A debt with a coin guard is like sailing near a storm. Hmm. Maybe he's in debt to the coin guard. When pride and debt are your masters, it can push you to desperate measures. You afraid he might do something stupid? Perhaps. But keep that to yourself, if you would. Anything else? Nope. I need to go. Farewell. Smooth sailing. Smooth sailing. Good day. What can I do for you? We have a few questions to ask you, Flavio. I'm all yours, Captain. What do you think about your new captain? He is fair, decisive, and he certainly knows the sea. But he keeps his distance. As if he wasn't a member of our species. And since we got here, it's been worse. He seems... Uh, troubled. The slightest disagreement puts him over the edge. But <laughs> never mind me. It's not my place to judge my captain. He's got responsibilities I can't fathom. Anything else? Uh, no. I need to be off. Perhaps we'll meet later. Farewell, then. Your Excellency, I am so pleased to see you again. The pleasure is shared. Captain. Good day, Jonas. What can I do for you? What do you think of your new captain? He knows how to make people obey him, and runs a tight ship. What else is there to say? He's a captain. I'm only a cabin boy. Does he get on well with Alba? He was suspicious of her at first, but when he saw that she was trustworthy, he treated her like one of our own. But when she disappeared, he told us that she didn't have what it takes to be a nod. He spoke of treason, that sort of thing. I imagine he regretted having trusted her at all. Anything else, Your Excellency? Uh, no. I'm afraid I need to be going. Watch out for yourself. Okay, so question Gretchen the Harlot. 
That's an interesting name. Hello, my darlings. It's rare to see the upper crust in here. It must be my lucky day. Do you and yours want to have a good time? I could call a few friends. I'm sorry, but I'm not here for that. Really? What would you like, then? I was told that Captain Reuben liked you a lot, and that you spent a lot of time with him. He's one of my regulars, it's true. He always asks for me. It's because I'm the sweetest. <laughs> Does he confide in you? Sorry, my dear. But what's between my clients and me is nobody's business. Okay, gold, threaten her, or offer her to become a courtesan. Okay. How about a change of scenery and a chance to work in a more luxurious environment? Become a courtesan? But don't you need connections to get there? I'm the legate of the congregation, and the governor's cousin. So? Oh, I'm not stupid enough to miss such a chance. What do you want to know? Okay, Reuben's relationships with the other knots. Did Reuben tell you about his relationship with his men, and his superiors? Oh, yes. He's always complaining about it. He was hoping for a promotion. He wanted to be appointed fleet commander. But they only changed his ship. And the crew is nowhere near his level, and his admiral despises him. He says everyone is unfair towards him, and doesn't recognize his talents. And it has turned him bitter. Okay, recent behavior. Have you noticed him change lately? Yes. He's become impatient and anxious. He has become suspicious, too. Okay, his plans. Did he tell you about his plans? Like everyone else, he likes building castles in the air. He told me that he would soon be someone very important, and very rich. And that he would marry me. <laughs> but they all say that. Thank you, Gretchen. I'm done. Okay. This man is a complete... So fallen cap... Bitter, dissatisfied, and anxious. We should follow him tonight. He may finally lead us to some solid proof. Alright. Sounds like a plan. So follow Captain Reuben after nightfall. Uh, in that case, I should probably, uh, yep, so I'll just head back to my residence first. Something crafted. Hammer. Ooh, I can upgrade this. Okay. Wish I learned about that earlier. Okay. Uh, armor damage. Okay, let's get some armor damage in here. And... Yep, physical damage. Sounds good. Um, you know, I got money. Why don't I just... Okay, Grand Seal Spalder. Bounce. Okay. Breastplate. Yep, that looks good.
strap. Yep. Cool. Worn gauntlets. And then after I upgrade all of this, I can just give this to one of my other... Whoops. One of my other um, companions, and they can have nice upgraded armor. Nice. The best forge in tier for a day. Blades, armor, locks, custom pick. Oh, it's a great pleasure. To oh, to be honest, I'm not a fan of that uh, chin strap. Uh... Yeah, see, I don't like that chin strap. Let's see if I can get something else. Okay, this is better armor. I'll just take that one instead. One armor okay. Like we'll make it for you. All right, now we just have to sleep until nightfall. Twelve hour nap. Are we available to Yep. Now to follow him. So, you know, I'm wondering if there's a way to upgrade my ring. Nope, no way. Okay, where is he? We can see everything from here. Sit and wait. There he is. Okay, don't mind us, we're just sneaking. Just give him a bit more distance. Don't want to get too close. Hello, don't mind us. Are your boots worn through? Is your hat out? Okay, went into that alley.
going to just quickly take what's in this box. Ah, he's running a bit. Here he is, red-handed. A sellout. Shall we arrest him? Wait and see what he put in the box. We should first find out what he puts in the box. Let him finish. The way is clear. Now, let's take a look at this box. Hopefully it's not a booby trap. The captain and his buyers should meet here at nightfall. This must be where the exchange will take place. Let's put the message back where we found it. Better no one knows we read it. And we should warn the Admiral immediately. She'd want to know. Let's go. Okay. Desarde, what can I do for you? We know a little more. Reuben continues to use the dead drop and has made an appointment with his buyer. He has quite the nerve to continue using that box even though he knows you know about it. He must have thought that we would not come back. The meeting is tonight. This could be a good time to get the proof we need. What do you think? That's an excellent idea. I will come with you. I want to see this traitor fall with my own eyes. Okay. So let's witness the secret meeting. Hopefully, there will be some people we can fight there and for me to loot. From this position, we'll be able to see the meeting discreetly. Perfect. I can't wait to witness it. This traitor is going to find out exactly what it costs to make fun of us. Men of the coin. I can't believe it. What schemes have we gotten mixed up with again? The wretched traitor. How dare he sell us to lawless mercenaries. Maybe we shouldn't be trusting these guards anymore. Ha! This traitor got what he deserved. Is everything all right, Admiral? It's nothing. Sorry to have charged like that. I got carried away. I couldn't bear to see this traitor sell his whole family for a few coins. Do you want us to tend to your wound? No, I'll go back to port and get back on my feet. Find the documents. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, the three of you. Okay, search the bodies for the documents. He was ready to sell more than just his own knowledge. There are plans for machines and ships that he must have stolen from elsewhere. 
In addition to a substantial sum, Reuben is also going to obtain a major post on the continent. Disgusting that someone could accept a deal like that. And we're surprised that some officers are not respected. Everything is here. We'll give it to the Admiral tomorrow. Or we can just give it to her now. Desarde, what can I do for you? How are your wounds? I recovered fast. It was nothing. Did you find the documents he intended to sell? Yes, here they are. But there was more than just his journal. So, he lusted after a prestigious position. And what a salary! I see that our secrets are still worth a fortune. Thank you for bringing me all this. As for you, Alba... I owe you an apology. I should have trusted you. Yes, you should have. You have nothing to do with it. The captain did everything to make me appear guilty. No. If we put the same trust in the volunteers as in the Seaborns, this would never have happened. We owe you a lot, De Sarde. I will not forget it. Nor will I forget the lesson. Be sure of it. You have my full gratitude. Anything else? No, I think that's I it. I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. All right, so the enemy within is complete. 2,200 experience points, that's good. So I'm just gonna travel to my residence here. Actually, do I have anything? I could probably sell that, but I'll do that later. Actually, do I have any equipment here that I can take? Nope, agility 2. Actually, we'll probably sell that also. Healer's Chain. Oh, but I need willpower 4. Actually, let me just sell off some of this stuff and think that might be it. Seen Whoops, not by Cell. Welcome. Have you seen it? Oh, I should probably put that away. See if the blacksmith can actually make me anything. Come closer, good people. Oh, it's you, Onomenawi. Oh, let's see what you have. Bertir to mud. Do you want? Interesting. can also get something. Guard. Physical damage. Okay. Something for armor damage. Okay. 
Okay, got achievement for craft 10 equipment improvements. Most nice. Most excellent. Maybe that'll, that'll be enough. I don't want to use too much of my coin. But yeah, I think that'll be it for this video. I think next one I'll probably continue with the main quest. Or maybe I'll just still do more side quests. I mean, we'll see. Oh, already saved. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Greedfall. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to check out my other social media accounts in the description below. Until next time, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, signing off.